Hello everyone, and welcome to FlowXO Academy. In this video, we will show you how to easily connect Google Sheets to your flow in FlowXO. To do this, we will use a flow where we have configured a MailChimp integration in a previous video. As you will see, you can use multiple integrations for different purposes in the same flow. In this case, we will keep the MailChimp integration to manage new subscriptions, but we will also register in Google Sheets the customer's interest to participate in a raffle. We will start by showing you the bot in action. First, we create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. The first row is used as headers to identify the columns in the flow integration, so we give them meaningful names. In this case, we will collect the name, email address, whether they register or not for the raffle, and the timestamp when they replied. It is important to have the Google Sheet file ready before adding the action to our flow, so it can then fetch the relevant information from the file, as you will see later. As you can see in our example, we created a separate spreadsheet just for this raffle. If we check the bot, you will see that we have added a few things for the Google Sheet integration. We click on Register, and in the welcome message, the bot already mentions that there is a surprise after the registration. So, we enter our name. In this case, Peter. Now the bot is confirming with us that we will be subscribed to the mailing list. So, we click on Yes to proceed. And next, the bot confirms that the registration has been performed. So far, the flow performs as it was configured before except for the mention of the little surprise at the beginning. Then, the bot sends another message to tell us about the surprise. A raffle at the end of the month, where the winner will get three months free, and gives us buttons to confirm if we'd like to participate or not. If we click on Yes, the bot will add our name and email to the Google Sheet with a Yes next to them, and confirm that we have been added to the raffle. If we check the Google Sheet, we can see that Peter's details have been correctly added to the spreadsheet. Notice the yes and the timestamp when he responded. We will now see the flow when a customer decides that they don't want to participate in the raffle. In this case, we will enter John as the name. We will also enter the email address and confirm that it can subscribe us to the newsletter. After the confirmation that the registration has been successful, the bot offers us to participate in the raffle. In this case, we will click on No. The bot now gives a different message, confirming that the user has not been added to the raffle, but that the newsletter subscription is still active. If we check the Google Sheet, we can see that John has been added and that there is a No in the Take Part in the Raffle column. We are going to click on Buy to dismiss the conversation with the bot for now. As you can see, we just added a few messages. In the bot's welcome, we have added a mention to the surprise. We then integrated Google Sheets. Then we added the message introducing the raffle and with options to participate or not. And finally, we have added two separate messages. One to confirm the customer has been added to the raffle, and one to confirm that they have not been added to the raffle. We will now show you how this is configured in the bot's flow. As we mentioned, we have used the flow where we already had connected MailChimp to manage customer subscriptions and made a few simple changes. As usual, we start by giving the flow a meaningful name. So in this case, we mentioned that it also has Google Sheets connected. In the first action, which acts as a trigger for the flow, we didn't need to add anything special. In the next action, which is the flow's introduction message, we added the mention to the little surprise, which will be the raffle. This way, we guide the customer's expectations on the tasks the bot will be performing next. There's no need for other changes to this action. We don't need to make any changes to the actions where we collect the name, email, confirmation to subscribe, or the confirmation that the subscription has been successful. 
After confirming that the registration was successful, we will add a separate task to send a message to the customer, informing them about the raffle and asking if they would like to participate. We will include two choices, yes and no. Note that we don't have to add any special code for this. Just add as many choices as we think will be required in the flow. We will also allow the least number of invalid answers and not permit unknown responses. Remember that although the bot offers choice buttons, customers could also type them, which is why this setting is important. We then click on Next. And since we don't need any special filters for this action, we also click on Save. We are now going to add the action that will connect Google Sheets. We do that by adding another action scrolling to the bottom of the pop-up and clicking on More Services. Here we can scroll down to Google Sheets or use the search bar at the top. We will now be presented with all the actions that a bot's flow can perform on a Google Sheet. Search something in a spreadsheet, list a number of rows, add rows, delete rows, get rows, or update rows. It's important to remember one thing with version 4 of the Google Sheets integration. If we select the Search Rows option, the flow will search the entire Google Sheet, and this may become slow if the sheet contains a lot of data. In our case, we would like to add a new row for each customer that registers. So, we select that option and click on Next. We are now presented with the screen where we select our Google account. If it is not connected to your FlowXO account yet, just click on Authorize here and follow the instructions. On the next screen, we select which Google Sheet from our account we would like to use. In our case, FlowXO Spreadsheet, as well as which worksheet in that document. In our case, Sheet 1. The screen will automatically display the column headers we typed in the spreadsheet, and we will select the data that will be stored in each column for every new row. We start with the Name column. So, we click on the XO logo and scroll to the action where we ask the name. Then we select the answer from that action. We do the same with the email address. Scrolling to the question where we collected that information and selecting the answer. Next, we scroll to the message where we ask them whether they would like to participate in the raffle and also select the answer to that. Finally, we are going to select the timestamp from the same action when the user replied. In this case, we are not retrieving a customer answer, but data automatically generated by the system. We click on Next to save the configuration, and the Google integration is added to our flow. So far, we have asked the customer if they would like to participate in the raffle. And we have connected our Google Sheet where we add the name and email address, as well as their intention to participate or not in the raffle. We now want to add messages confirming the corresponding action to our customer. In the first message, we will confirm that the customer has been added to the raffle. whereas the second message will confirm that they have not been added to the raffle. In the first one, we enter a message confirming that they are now in the raffle and wish them luck. We are also going to add shortcuts to start again, and buy, which are triggers that the flow is already configured to listen to.
We click on Next, and in the Filter section, we will add a condition so this action only runs when the customer has clicked on Yes to confirm they would like to participate in the raffle. So, we click on the XO logo and scroll to the message where we asked if they would like to participate. We select the answer to that question. Configure the condition as equals and enter yes as the expected value. Then, click on save. We will now configure the other case where the customer may not want to participate. Click on edit. Here, we will add a message confirming that they have not been added to the raffle, but they have been subscribed, and welcoming them on board. We will give the same exit options to Start Again and Buy, and then click on Next. In this case, we want to select the same answer parameter as in the previous message. However, we will configure the value as No, and check the box to stop the rest of the flow since this is the final step in the customer journey. Then, we will click on Save. We will now test the flow in the test console. If it's not open, simply click on the green bubble at the bottom right. Remember that your flow must be on for this to work. We click on Register and follow the process, confirming the messages we added are displayed correctly. This time, the customer's name will be Tony. We're also going to test the email format validation, which the flow originally had built in. To do so, we enter an email address in the wrong format. And we can confirm that the bot picked up on it, asking us to enter a valid email address. This time, we will enter an email address in the correct format. and we will confirm that we would like to subscribe by clicking on Yes. The bot now confirms the registration and offers the raffle. We're going to click on Yes to check this part of the flow. And we see that the bot confirms that we have been added to the raffle and gives us the correct options to start again or dismiss the conversation. As we mentioned, start again, which is this option in the message we have received, works because it is entered as a trigger word here at the beginning of the flow in the trigger action. And this is how we can easily collect data from your bot and add it to a Google Sheet. Remember that there are more actions your bot can perform with Google Sheets, so it can be pretty useful. Keep in mind, however, that the accounts you add, such as Google Sheets, are managed from the integrations page and not the flow where they were added. And that's all for this video. Remember, you can find detailed written instructions for this and many more features in our Help Center at support.flowxo.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on Flowxo's features, and let us know in the comments if there are any specific features that you would like us to cover in a video.